My next stop was a little street where Mahatma Gandhi stayed when in Mumbai. Pictures from his life. It is here at Mani Bhavan that the father of this nation undertook his non-violent movement to bring independence to India. Jasmine, I'm so inspired to be here. It's been a pleasure. On Mahatma Gandhi's balcony. All each one cheering, greeting him, Mahatma Gandhi calling out to them. And they would get strength from him. Absolutely. Because he, he walked a... the walk. He did. He walked slowly. He walked miles together, kilometers together with people during protests and demonstrations. That's his so stick. That was the stick that he always kept with him. And the three holy books of Christianity, Islam, and Hinduism, along with a rosary, traveled with Gandhi everywhere he went. So an amalgamation of these three world philosophies was his own religion. And his sandals. And that would be very difficult to walk into, and he would walk miles wearing this. Amazing inner strength. He must have done Malakam. <laughs> I just did that. <laughs> he also carried with him the three monkeys. And that is hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. That became his very important philosophy in life. I especially resonated with his philosophy on women. He believed that women are the pillars of society. I'm a big fan. Gandhi also revived the art of spinning in this house. It led millions of people in India to earn a living with the craft. He used spinning for meditation, and his spinning wheel is his symbol. In fact, his statues are adorned with cotton garland. He was the first political leader in the world who actually got freedom through nonviolence. Current world leaders and other people from around the world are drawn here. I am from Israel. Something in his dream is like our dream. When he was assassinated, he had his palms together and he said, forgive him, Lord, for he doesn't know what he does. Forgiveness, key. I think there's just an inner Gandhi in all of us. The desire to be the change we want to see in the world.